Look, everybody. Hey, look, this is a nice block right here, right? I'm on. I'm in Brooklyn, downtown Brooklyn, little block. Bam. Uh, got my books in my hand always. Uh, I sold a f like. I think I sold 20 books in there. 20. Took all day though. But listen, I'm here to answer another. I like making videos. It's just it's fun. Because, you know, I don't have time to sit on my keypad and write them shits all day. But anyway, like, uh, so this girl was saying, like, you got to be careful what you ask a woman when you first meet them because you don't want to scare them away. But I figure, like, if we on a date and I'm being blunt with you and honest and you don't like my honesty, then fuck you. I don't care. You know, I, shit. You ain't the only female in the world that I got to talk to. And I'm not saying that to be mean or disrespectful. But I'm just going to be honest with you. You know, I'm addicted to the truth. I'm going to tell you what's on my mind. You know, if I was interested in scheming, then I'm a lot of you. I'm going to tell you what you want to hear. But, you know, like if I scare you away from something I say, then it just ain't meant to be. You know, I'm not going to sit there and I'm saying like, I'm saying like if you was a guy was talking to a woman. See, most guys don't talk to women to look for a wife. They talk to women. To see where they can get some pussy from. And that's why they're lying. And that's why relationships don't work. Because women like being lied to. They say they don't, but they like fucking lies. Everybody likes being lied to. Nobody likes the truth. Because the minute you tell somebody the truth, they call you bitter. Or they say you mean, or you disgruntled, or something like that. So, when your guy's looking for a girlfriend, he's going to be on his best behavior. And he's going to say whatever he has to say. To get some pussy from her. And then once he gets the pussy. And he realizes that he's tired of fucking her. Then he goes on to the next girl. Like you know. That's the main thing about like honeymoons and shit. Like when people. When honeymooners go on a honeymoon. All they do is fuck. They go away for the honeymoon. And they stay locked away. And they fuck all day. Fuck fuck fuck. And then after the honeymoon is over. And their husband got to go back to the real world. And pay bills and shit. He realized that's just the same old pussy every day. And that's why our relationships get uh go haywire. Because the guy would get tired of fucking his wife and he's not fucking his wife like he did on the honeymoon. Because quiet as it's kept, women like to fuck too. And if the husband ain't fucking his wife, she gonna find somebody else to fuck. Her. But back to what I'm saying is like um when I'm telling you know, like when a guy's looking for a girlfriend, that's all he's looking for. Somebody that he can fuck. He's not looking for wife material. He's looking for a jump off. But if a guy was looking for a wife, somebody he gonna be with for the rest of his life, he should look for what he likes. I mean, he should, you know, ask the serious questions. And if if, you, if he scares you away, then that means it ain't meant to be. But that's why women get fucked around so much is because they like being lied to. They like lies. You know, I done scared a lot of women away. Because I'm blunt and I'm brutally honest and I don't give a fuck, you know. Like I told you before, the minute I start worrying about what you think of me, that means I'm putting your agenda before my agenda. And that goes against the law of nature because I come first. And I was married before and I told my wife, we're going to be together till the day I die. But if I find somebody better, then I'm going to split. It's real simple. It's real fucking simple. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.